Over the last few weeks, our fifth period class has accumulated thousands of photos. Literally, um, we've got over 2,000 sports photos in addition to photos from the different field trips that you guys took. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting a single photo or multiple photos from any of those thousands of photos that we took to create a poster to, of course, promote AUP. So here's one. Um, you're going to find this particular image was taken at Rockaway Beach. One of the things that I did, um, because I really love this image, is that I uh, desaturated it and then I applied um, levels and I darkened the levels a whole lot because I thought that the outline or the silhouette of these individuals would be much stronger, would be much more powerful this way. So for example, um, here's Miranda, you can't see her face, but in the original image, you can barely see her face either. And so she kind of looks mysterious. Um, likewise, I desaturated, I'm sorry, I applied levels so you couldn't see her. And But I intentionally left um, her face light enough just so you could see that she's smiling, she's having a lot of fun. And then I, applied um, this particular blending mode with the texture I found on one of the texture packs at Brush Easy. I included the AUP logo and we're going to be applying color inversion. So you're going to want to find a light area in your photo. And in this case, it's of course the sky. And I wrote, this is high school. And then I flipped it at its best. So purple on white and then white on purple. I would recommend that you do like a script font on top, whatever you want. And then like a Georgia Times or Arial, like a more traditional font. Um, beneath it. So you can write, this is high school at its best. You can write, you know, the best high school and then um, with some geometry underneath in Brooklyn, you're going to experiment. So as an example, here's a photo of our queen taken. A really, really cool layup. I love this photo. We took thousands of photos. I think just to get this one, this is a, um, a really beautiful image. So what you're going to want to do is first thing first, you're going to want to press control J to make a copy. And I already did. And the reason we're pressing Control J first, and even if I don't say it in the future, please always just press Control J because you might want to go back to the original colored image. You can press Control J. I'm going to desaturate by pressing Control Shift U. And we're not done. This is still kind of gray. So I'm going to press Control L. And please take note because this this is not easy. What I'm going to do, even though Najee, I know you know how to do levels, but just check this out. I'm going to bring the um, darks up. I'm going to bring the lights up by shifting it to the right. But now, and this is really crucial for this image, I'm adjust the midtone. So the center one is really important. So I could go like that, but that looks horrible. What I can do is I can adjust so the midtones are a little bit lighter than everything else. You see that? So that um, the image of our queen taking the layup is a little bit, there's, there's greater contrast compared to like before. You can't really see him, but now this looks, um, this looks really cool. We've got the nice rim in the um, the background. Let's leave it right there. You're going to want to experiment. That looks much better than before. Do you see the difference? It's gray. This is amazing. So you're going to download a couple um, textures. I have tried this one. I don't like this one. So you're going to find you're going to find that you might want to go through four, five, or six textures until you find one that you like. And I kind of like this one. I just Googled this. Um, so you're going to want to go through, again, a blending mode that oops, that really strikes you that you think looks going to look good. And I really like, there's a few of them that I think are um, good candidates, but I like overlay. I like hard light. I think that actually looks kind of cool. So let's say, I don't know, I'm going to experiment. Maybe bring this down some or bring this over. Nah, whatever. So I might adjust this a little bit. Is there any other ones? No, that doesn't look good. So you guys are going to find one that you think looks best for your image. They're all going to be unique. If anybody has any questions, you're going to uh, let me know. And here's another example of what precisely the blending mode does to an image without the blending mode, with the blending mode. All right, guys. Good luck.